Import can be used for example for importing tag groups and tags from another source. Open the dataset containing the tag groups and tags, and decide how they should become part of your own system. Go to the Tags tab page for viewing the tags from the dataset. In this example the tag group colors is automatically set to be a new one on your system, because no matching tag group was found. Note that all underlying tags are going to be created on your system as well. The same is done for the tag group countries. It is also automatically set to be new on your system. Note again that all underlying tags are going to be created on your system as well. We are finished mapping tags now. Because the dataset in this example does not contain any file or folder, we go to the Finish tab page. The summary shows that two tag groups and 14 tags will be created. We run the import. This will create the tag groups and tags on the system. This is illustrated here on the right side showing the Windows Explorer. After the import is finished, the dataset is reloaded. The Start tab page shows additional information now. If you like to know what this is about, please watch part 2 of the series about using import for tags.